and we're live everyone Yay! hey how are we all today i'm here with the super lovely and super talented tangy baxter and i'm so excited to welcome you to the Thank design you. community <laughs> i'm excited to be here this is exciting it's going to be a lot of fun i think yeah. and we, we can see a ton of people showing up right now um, so, I mean, people from all over the world, but let us know where you're from in the comments, just while we're waiting on uh, final people to show up. Just leave a quick comment. Where are you watching us from? We appreciate every single person being here, though, honestly. Yeah, sure. I'm looking forward to today. So we've got Barb um, from New York City. We've got Sue from Tampa, South Africa. From Ooh, Jay, I see an uh, Arizona girl. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Mississippi, <laughs> Portugal, Chicago, Wisconsin, Alberta, Canada. Orlando. Hey, Sue, what's up? Oh, uh, I'm in Orlando, Kathy. There you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, Texas, Dallas, Denver. A lot of Americans on the call today. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, there we go. So we've got Bosnia and Herzegovina. There's the um, <laughs> Yeah, Bristol. <laughs> we've got the, uh, <laughs> the UK folk <laughs> representing. Um, I love that Jay's sneaking in briefly. She's meant to be working. <laughs> Canada, Arizona. Um, guys, so we, um, we had a couple of live classes yesterday, which were fantastic. And I know today is going to be really, really special too. Um, it worked for the vast majority of people. Um, but if anyone's having audio or video issues, simply click on uh, Get Audio Video Help. And the way to find that is the bottom left of your video, where it's got that live kind of counter of how far into uh, the class we are just click on get audio video help if you're having issues and there should be a compatibility option hey uh vivi by the way from richmond in in the uk that's pretty close to where i am i was in richmond very recently i've got friends that live there um ellie says we're echoing i can't hear an echo can you tanji hopefully it's good for everyone else um so i would try the uh, get audio video help guys if anyone's having issues and otherwise use the good old fashioned refresh on the page, turn it off and turn it back on again and all should run smoothly. But enough with that, with the technicalities. <laughs> again, a very, very warm welcome to Tanji. Tanji, I know thank we've been you. speaking for a while. I love your work. I think it's fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate awesome. it. <laughs> and what are you going to be teaching the lovely people today, Tanji? Well, today I'm going to talk about uh, art journaling a little bit and do an art journal page from scratch that hasn't been pre-planned so that everyone can really see the process that I go through for that. So it really has not been planned, but it will definitely be in my style. So I definitely have a style. So, um, so that's Incredible. what we're going to do. And learning how to okay. use scrapbook supplies for art journaling, like being able to cross those two things over um i think is really important since people have these wonderful stashes and the new section at design cuts is amazing so i just uh, wanted to be able to show everyone how they could use that for mixed media style pages as well incredible and i believe are you going to be teaching us in photoshop yes yes photoshop right shall we dive in yeah let's go for it <laughs> And thank you for being so active already. We love it when you guys are active um, in the comments. And yesterday was so much fun. Everyone was like chatting and helping each other and, and geeking out over the creativity. So I'm sure we can top that today. Somebody saw my Oz Oswald ears back there. Okay. <laughs> I think, can you see my screen now? Yes, certainly can. Awesome. All right, so you want me to just dive into this? <laughs> Yeah, why not? By the, by the way, Tanji, did you notice I'm wearing some little design cuts swag right now? Oh, yes. There you go. Born, born and it. raised in London, England. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I needed, I needed an Arizona shirt. Okay. All right. So um, what I'm going to do is just really show you guys uh, how I get started with art journaling and what the difference between art journaling is um, to me and the difference between art journaling and scrapbooking. And what I did is I just pulled some random products um, that are in my store that are available at Design Cuts. Um, I just pulled some random packages to kind of show you how I go through my stash to get started on a page. Uh, but really the difference between scrapbooking and art journaling is that usually there's no photos involved and it's usually um, preserving a thought instead of a memory. 
Uh, and so that's that's the basic difference. And but I'm going to show you an actual style today, which is a mixed media style as well. So if you guys have any questions about that, just type it in and I'll try to answer it as I go. And I also talk really fast. So if you guys <laughs> have a question and I am going too fast, just let me know. And, so, and I will um, I will jump in. So I know you're yeah. going to be mainly focused on what you're creating, yes. Tansy, but I will I'm, keep an eye on the comments, guys. So I'm on that screen over there. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me know. All right. Awesome. So um, as the for the basics um, of actually the technicality of how I do this, um, what I did is I just created an eight and a half by 11 document. That's what my printer prints. And so I like to work in that size for my art journal so that I can print these off um, on a standard size piece of paper. But the size just really doesn't matter. Uh, whatever, whatever, if you if for your scrapbooker and you're used to doing 12 by 12, then, then go for that as well. Um, and this is a part here that might seem a little bit strange, but when I am about to create an art journal page, I will literally just go in um, some folders of, of images and I usually have them organized a little bit different. But what I do is I just kind of pull out uh, images that at the spur of the moment without thinking about it too much um, look good to me. So I'm going to use the control button on my keyboard and I'm just going to randomly select, hopefully you can see that, that I'm selecting some random uh, images here. And I'm going to just pull this to the side and I'm just going to drag them right in to my page. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean they're pretty uh pretty high res, aren't they? Yeah. It's okay. We can uh we can do a little dance while we wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, there they are. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack a few more things in here. So this is from the Be Here Now kit, and I'll probably go grab. I love working. Um, you'll see in if you're not familiar with my work that I love doing splatter. Um. I think it's taking just a little bit longer because I'm I've got this video going, but that's all right. That's right. It's all of the hundreds and hundreds of people that have shown up to see you. They're breaking <laughs> the internet right now. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so here's here's another one, and I'm gonna pull a paper in a second, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just randomly pull some stuff. And it doesn't mean I'm gonna use all of this. It doesn't mean that um, it's all gonna end up on the page. But I find the less I think about what I'm pulling, the easier my pages to put together. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you about that in just a sec here. Okay, I'm gonna just go grab maybe one more thing. Um, actually, let's go back over here and grab. I'm gonna grab um, a dark colored, I always grab a dark colored paper and a light colored paper to start. And I don't drag these into my document because the way I have my settings, everything resizes. Um, and I don't want these to resize because otherwise yep. they hear, yeah. Does everyone know how that works? Probably. I'll just pull another one in there so you can see if I pulled it in there, it would turn it square and mm -hmm. not as big as the paper. So I'm not going to do that, but we can use it for something else. Ooh, that I'll I show like you that. In a minute. Pretty colors. Did, yeah. It's fun, right? Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to drag this over and so that you'll see that it's actually, it's going to be full size now. So I'm going to bring that to the back. Okay. And then what I do is if you hold the first eyeball <laughs> in your layers palette and drag down, it'll turn all the layers off. So I'm just going to do that and drag all the way down like that, except not my paper. Um, and then I will just kind of start building my page for there by turning stuff on and off and kind of moving it around and seeing um, what I like. Uh, and if you look at the pages that I create for my own personal art journals, I kind of tend to have a style and a layout that I like. Um, so you'll see me kind of start building that. Okay, so we're just going to start with this basic right here. I'm just going to use this as my basic. By the way, Tanji, I've yes. literally got notepad at the ready. So uh, I, I encourage everyone watching live as well to take notes if we go. <laughs> take a note or watch the replay. There's a replay, right? There is a replay. Yes. So yeah, don't don't yeah. worry if if you don't yeah. follow absolutely everything. You can watch it back at right, your own speed. 
that pause button is amazing <laughs> so that you can try it and then hit pause. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is this is one of my uh, standard, use it all the time to create mixed media pages is the pen tool. So I'm gonna go over here and choose the pen tool. And up in my settings, I wanna make sure that it's on shape because I want to start drawing shapes. Um, I don't want it to be on path or on pixels. So I um, mean, it doesn't really matter what color because I'm just gonna start uh, drawing shapes. So in this particular case, um, we could do a flower, we could do banners, maybe I'll do both. So I'm going to start with a banner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start somewhere on my page. I'm starting over here in the left hand corner. And I am going to, in fact, I'll make it a little bit cattywampus because the idea is, is that you want this to look like you cut it out of a uh, a magazine or out of paper with real scissors. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create this digitally as if we had used real paint and scissors and markers and whatever else you have. Um, so now we have the shape and I'm actually gonna rasterize it. So I'm gonna right click on this layer and I'm gonna rasterize this so that I can um, use it as a clipping mask and move it around and play with it. All right, so can you see how that's not exactly straight? Um, which yeah, I love. Yeah. It's, it's got yeah. that organic hand cut kind of look. Yeah, exactly. So let's just draw a couple of those. Um, and you can use your shortcuts if you if you know them, but I'm just gonna do it the... By the way, let me know in the chat, guys. Um, I learned the pen tool many years ago when I was kind of getting my head around Photoshop and it used to scare me so much. I, I always stuck with the lasso tool and selection tools and the pen tool always scared me. But once you do master it, it's just such a breeze to work with and it's so helpful yeah. to your workflow. Yes. Um, yeah. Thanks for bringing that up too, because I just kind of like take it for granted that I can just draw shapes. So when I draw this third one, I usually do everything in threes, like three, five or odd numbers, three, five, seven, nine. I don't ever do anything even, but um Make sure this is just the quickest tip I can give you. Don't cross your path when you're using the pen tool. And what I mean by that is like if I'm going down, don't come over here and then go back over here because that's when you start wondering what in the world happened to you. <laughs> um, you can always hit control Z and go back a step um, and then continue drawing. Uh, is but it, just is it like Ghostbusters, Tanji, where it's like, don't <laughs> don't cross the streams. <laughs> don't 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 do it. Whatever. <laughs> if, if you don't whatever you do, don't do that. So, um, yeah. So that'll just make it easy. That's like the the easiest way I can tell you. And maybe this one I'll just kind of make that has a different bottom. Just don't cross the path, and you should be fine. Okay. <laughs> I just Oops. saw Maria said, "Ha!" Huh, I thought that too in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Great, great okay. minds, Maria. <laughs> yes, exactly. Love the pop culture. Okay, so I'm going to kind of put these up here, and what's great is I can resize them and work on them. But um, I, I'm just going to kind of play and move them around a little bit here. And then what you can do is, so I've dragged in this paper or in Photoshop already. So let's just try this one. I'm going to bring this on top of one of these. Actually, I'm going to select all of these layers by clicking the top one here and hitting the shift key. So I've got all of the banners and this paper, and I'm gonna bring them to the top because they're gonna need to be up there anyway. Um, and so now I'm just gonna hit right click and hit create a clipping mask. If you're in Photoshop Elements, all you have to do is um, hit your alt key or your apple key, depending on what you're on, and just hover between these two layers and it'll create a clipping mask like that. Um, I know that's a little extra step you have to do in elements, or at least you used to. I don't know if they, they've they come up, out with a easier way to do that. But okay, so I'm just going to start maybe click, clipping some papers on here. And I'm not sure I love that one. But we'll just we're just going to keep going and we can keep playing around with it. I'm going to bring this paper back in. Um, and I'm actually going to make a copy of it because I might want to use it for something else. Uh, I should have told you how I did that. All right, I'm going to select the layer that has the paper on it. And I'm going to hit my Alt key or your Apple key, and I'm going to drag it up, and it's going to make a new a new one of it. So I could make as many of those as I want by hitting the Alt key. Yep, makes sense. Okay. I think this. All right, one's I'm going to turn that one nice. back up. Yeah. 
whoops, I make sure you're holding the right layer. Okay, and it's kind of disappearing, right? So it's kind of disappeared into the background. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put like a quick shadow on it. And I, I am not gonna be the teacher that's going to be able to tell you how to do like this amazing shadow work because I don't have the patience for that. So what I usually do is I usually, depending on the page that I'm doing, um, it's usually around between negative 30 and negative 45 degree angle because I want the light to come down this way um, so that I can kind of see that pop off. But I want to show you another really cool trick that a lot of people don't know is that you can use outer glow. So when you choose outer glow, it's going to normally be like a yellow color, but mine remembers that this is my setting. So normally when you choose outer glow, it's going to be like this color and it's going to be on overlay. So obviously that doesn't do anything. Um, so if you change it to a dark color and change this to multiply, you can see that it gives it a shadow all the way around, which is actually mm -hmm. more realistic for, um, for mixed media. And you can you know, put that out as much as you want. A lot of times I'll actually use a combination of this outer glow and a drop shadow. But you can just kind of see how that pops it off the page. And I might just make that a little bit lighter. And then I can I, still I find so it. much of this kind of work is just playing. Yes. And I, I, I've always loved this kind of design where it's like yes. you just, you know, you tweak the levels and the opacity and try yeah. different effects. And it's all, it's almost like trial and error, right? You're like, does that look better or worse? Does that right. look better or worse? Like over and over. Yep, exactly. And as you build a style, and obviously I've made a page like this. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. So I'm I'm making it look really easy and fast, but I've already done all that playing already. So um, it's it'll just be you finding your style or you can use, borrow mine, use it, make it your own, however you want. But yeah, these are just some great, easy, simple tricks to make it look more mixed media. So you can kind of see how that made that pop off. So I've got that outer glow to make it look like it's a piece of paper that's cut, but then also a drop shadow that like it's sticking up on one side a little bit or the light's coming down there. So and then I'm just going to go ahead, um, since I found, I'm just going to use this layer style um, for the rest of my page. That's what I do. Once I've made one piece um, shadowed, I'm going to copy it so that as I go forward, I don't have to do that anymore. Um, and in fact, I could just select both these layers now and hit paste layer style so that it's on there. All right. So, and I just don't love that paper. So it's, it's, I mean, I like the paper, but not for this. So I'm going to just go back over here and grab. And I actually, you know, what I like to do is I, I don't like working all in one kit. That's just me. Um, I like to mix things up and hmm. do crazy stuff. So, ooh, I like these butterflies that are up here too. I'm just going to grab a couple things out of here and bring them in. And I am so sorry. They just started doing yard work out there. So hopefully you guys can still. It's okay. I, I can't uh, hear Can you hear it? Answer. Okay. They're like, no, you know, so they're out there blowing all the leaves, like right, right there. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, all good. Oh boy. Okay. Can't hear anything. So, okay. I'm going to cruise right along here. Okay. Hopefully everyone's Ooh. still with me here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah i think this is what we uh we always notice so when it comes to like the q a people okay. start blowing up the comments in the demonstration bit i literally think everyone just stares stares um, but right just so you know uh, so we know that you're still with us guys leave a quick comment if this is helpful so far i think it definitely is i'm loving the techniques i've been seeing some great uh positive feedback vivi says clever stuff deborah's learned mm -hmm. something new but do leave oh, a quick good. comment and let us know uh, how you're finding it so far. Or if I'm just, you know, talking way nope. too, too fast. <laughs> oh, no, too oh, fast. oh, there they are. No, they're, no, they're waking up in the, uh, in the conference. Okay, you? good. Okay, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Yeah, I can go off on a little tangent. Okay, so no, no, I want to make cool. sure that I, I want to show you guys another trick. Um, normally, I would probably do this a little bit later in the process, but I want to make, I could play with this for hours. So I want to just make sure I get get where I'm supposed to get. One of the things about mixed media that's really important is um, making sure that it looks realistic. So like I have this awesome splatter right here. I love this splatter. Okay. But if I put it like right here, I've just lost like, even if it was small, 
it's not realistic because it's covering up the shadow and paint doesn't do that. So mm -hmm. I want to show you guys a fun little trick. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and link these so that I can keep moving them around without having to. Okay. So I'm going to take a splatter and I'm just going to use this one since it's what was on my page. And I'm going to go to this one here. And, uh, no, we're down here. So I'm just clipping that on here with Ooh. this paper as well. So now it's clipped. So now it's more realistic, right? Because it's, it looks like the paint was on there before I cut my paper, right? But what if we really did splatter and paint over the top of something that was cut on our page? So I'm gonna show you a really fun uh, trick that you can use. So I've got this here and it's clipped. So I'm gonna, again, hit my Alt key and I'm gonna drag another copy of this behind the uh, one that has a shadow, behind the banner that has the shadow. So can you automatically see that the shadow is there so it looks like there's an edge in there um mm -hmm. where the paint is overlapped on the paper but then what i'm going to do is i'm going to like actually pull this down and over or you can twist it a little bit um because <clears throat> you don't want it to match up like exactly because the paper would have like moved or whatever so this is just uh like maybe right there. Yeah, so it's like they both got covered in paint, but then you kind of yep. just move the uh, the tape afterwards. Yep. Yeah. So, and then you know, if you move this, it's still it'll still work anywhere because it's clipped on there. So then I would need to yeah. link. It's like these. magic. Yeah, isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah. This is why <laughs> digital digital mixed media is is so much cleaner than. <laughs> <laughs> then, and I love both. Don't get me wrong, but this this is a lot less messy at the end of the day. So anyway, <laughs> okay. So that's that trick. And after doing all that, I'm not sure that's even where I actually want this at. But but mostly, I wanted to teach you teach you this technique. So we'll just we'll just see how this goes. So I'm gonna select all these and then cool. Come back Kirsten here. said, "Love it." Uh, Tara said, "Holy wow." And Ellie saying, <laughs> now that is holy so wow. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we got a holy wow. That's good. Okay. Um, so China, China said, just think of all the supplies I can get rid of. I'm with you, Tanji. I love both. But uh, we did put, when we uh, when we mentioned that these classes were going to be happening, we put in the email, you know, you don't have to get your hands dirty. Like, right? you don't have to get covered in glue and glitter. You can just have so much fun digitally. Yep, Exactly. Exactly. Um, I do all the, the paint work here and scan it in for you guys. So, okay. <laughs> you, you get messy so we don't have to. I, exactly. <laughs> I don't act, yeah, and I don't do it as much anymore because I'm just a watercolor person now. But anyway, that's a different story. Okay. Um, in this particular case, um, I'm kind of just going to use the, these words that were here. Normally, I would give you like an art journal prompt. Um, what I had planned to do, um, in fact, I'll still do it just so I can show you how I would do this, but um, is to use lyrics is a really easy way when you're just starting art journaling. I love music and I feel like lyrics, it's like, you know, creating the soundtrack of your life. Uh, so we'll get into that in just a second. But um, I wanna show you one more thing with these banners before we move on, because I think it's really fun and hopefully doesn't over confuse the point. But if you go to your shape tool and choose custom shape tool, uh, let me see if we can get in here. I'm just going to do a heart because I have some hearts here loaded and it's easy. I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it in this, this one right here. In fact, this has music notes on it. And that's what I love so much about pulling random stuff is all of a sudden it all makes sense. Cause I'm about to use lyrics and I didn't even realize that this paper had, uh, music notes on it. And that's what I love about this process is that I feel like when I just do it more organically, it ends up all coming together in the end, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have it to does. overthink it. And if I wasn't talking, this process would take me about maybe 15 to 20 minutes to create a page at the most. Okay, so what I did is I just drew the shape over just near this banner here. So, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the control key. And I am going to, actually, I have to rasterize this layer. All right. In fact, I'm going to just make this way easier on you guys. I'm going to take these two layers. So here's the banner layer that I drew earlier in the paper. And I'm just going to um, 
merge them by hitting control E. So now we just have the banner. That will be the easiest way to do this, okay? Mm -hmm. So go back to your heart layer and make sure that it's selected and then go back to the banner. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit control X and then control V. Um, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna cut out a heart out of your, um, can you see how it cut a heart out of there? Mm -hmm. um, so so just, to, um, slow, just to slow that down, Yes, um, for, I'm for do people it again. who might have missed that. Yeah, I, I'd love just to get a slow breakdown yeah. of how that works. I'm going to do that again. Um, and where's my little heart? Because I like to use the cutouts other places on my page. Okay, so let's do one in this this one here. Um, let's just Jordan, Jordan just said, so cool seeing the process. And also, what is up, Jordan? Because Jordan's one of our earliest community members at Design Cut. So, so good to oh, see hi, you. Oh, hi, Jordan. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and really confuse you and I'm gonna do two hearts this time. <laughs> so I've I've drawn the heart and I'm just gonna flip this one horizontally so that they don't, they're not mirrored. Can you see how that made it look a little bit more? Remember I was talking about mm -hmm. not making everything so perfect. Yep. Okay, so I have these two hearts. I'm gonna hit control E to merge them. All right. And then I yep. want to make sure that I get my banner layers here. And I should have done this earlier. This is what I messed up on. Um, I should have cleared the layer styles on this before I merged them. Because otherwise, uh, I merged this one. Now I've got a double shadow on it. But I'm not going to go back yep. and fix it for this. Mm -hmm. So hit Control E. So now your banner is just looks like a piece of paper. OK. So is everyone with me so far? <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, so, so what Tanj is saying is um, she should have merged the texture and the shape layer um, and then applied the drop shadow. Yeah. Because see how this is merged? Um, let's, let me clear it. <laughs> I just saw Brooke in the comments say, Tanji Baxter and design cuts. Hello, Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so see, here's you can see my mistake here. Can you see that this layer has a drop shadow and stuff on it, but it I can't fix it because it's not on the layer yes. because I had merged it. So mm -hmm. that's where I made a mistake earlier. But the problem is, is now that you can't you can't see the heart because there's no shadow in there. So I'm having to put a double mm -hmm. like layer style on there. So yay, I made okay, a mistake. Yeah, I so that. I can show you guys how not to do that. But I'm gonna take. <laughs> There's always lessons. Also, yes. you guys, I'm loving the comments. Penelope just said, love your on design cuts now. It's like peanut butter and chocolate coming together. <laughs> Aww. And Thanks, everyone. I feel so I, loved. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad that we're working with Tanji. But in general, I'm, I'm just loving the fact we've got this new digital scrapbooking section because yeah. we, we've loved our digital scrapbooking community from six years ago when we got started. We've always known there's been a bunch of you in our community. And I feel like we've just almost been neglecting you a little bit by not having a section like this. And so we've worked super hard. We've teamed up with these amazing people, including Tanji from the digital scrapbooking space. And like, I'm, I'm just having so much fun already. And I feel like there are people, I love the creativity in the, in the scrapbooking community. Well, thanks. We're excited that you're doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> a good time. <laughs> I love moving into the future and doing new things. So I'm happy to be here. Okay, I'm going to go back to this real fast so I can show you guys again. Um, so I was on this heart layer and I'm going to, and I hit, let me deselect it. I'm going to hit the control key and I'm going to click on the layer and it's going to automatically make the marching ants around my layer. Uh, whoops, don't do that. Um, and now I'm going to go down to the paper layer. And I'm going to hit Control X, which cuts cuts it out, and then Control V to paste it because I want these little hearts down here. Let me paste the layer style on them so you guys can see them pop off the page. So there they are. Um, and then when you turn this black layer off, you'll see that I've cut the hearts out of that banner. Um, Very cool. I love yeah. it. Normally, I would do like and, a star I, and different things, but... Oh, go ahead. I love your workflow as well. So some of these little keyboard shortcuts and stuff, I guarantee there will be a bunch of people who might not know how to do like the cutout effect or some of the clipping masks and that kind of thing. But you know, you work in a very uh, smart way, I would say. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> That's right. I'm throwing all the compliments your way today, Tanji. 
<laughs> I'm like, let's do this every day. Let's just do it every day. Okay. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do now, because I just, um, I want to make sure that I can show you some of these other things is um, I'm going to, I already copied some lyrics uh, on a notepad, but you can just go to like, I pulled up, um, oh, looks, I thought I had it right here. Maybe I don't. Let's see. Okay, so what uh, I do is Ruby I just said shortcuts are my favorite. The shorter, the better. The shorter, the better, <laughs> right? The 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 selection, uh, the Control X, Control V, Control E for merge is, and the Alt key to mm -hmm. copy stuff are all my favorite. Um, but you yep. can find lyrics to any song online. I'm sure you know that. But so here I pulled up the lyrics to Blackbird, and then also I just pasted in a notepad earlier. You can see here uh, the lyrics to one of the songs from. Uh, Greatest Showman. So I'm gonna pull those into this page, I think. So I'm gonna make sure that I create a new layer. I, you don't actually have to, cause when you hit the select tool, it'll do it for, or the text tool, it'll do it for you. But what I wanna do is, and I'm always surprised at, and we've got a lot of people on here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, that people get frustrated with text in Photoshop because they just click uh, and try to type, and then they're always hitting the enter key and trying to format the text, but you don't have to do that. Just go ahead and draw yourself a text box mm -hmm. um, and then control V because you can always um, play with the text box later. Uh, and I always just took that for granted that I knew that, but a lot of people don't. So I can understand why Photoshop's always been a little bit frustrating. No, that's uh, a good tip. I, so, I do the same thing. Um, by the way, Tanji, I don't know if you've seen it or anyone in the comments, but on Sunday, I watched Yesterday, the new movie where it's uh, as <gasps> if the Beatles never existed. I want to see it? that so bad. Was it good? Cool. Please tell me it, it was, was good. Yeah, it was. It was just a, <laughs> it was a fun, funny, enjoyable summer watch. So oh, I think good. It's, a, it's a film to make you smile. But let us know in the comments who's seen it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I, and and uh, I've, had, I've had I've had the song yesterday stuck in my head since I watched it. <laughs> yeah, I really, 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 really want to see that song or see that movie and the yeah. song. See the song and the movie. It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I was raised on the on the Beatles, so there we go. Okay, um, I am going to bring this to the top just so you can see. I don't. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this because this is something you're just going to have to play with. But but when you do text, you can uh, you also. Okay, let me go back. <laughs> this is where your journaling would go. Normally, I would really encourage you on an art journal page to put journaling like about whatever it is. So let's let's just use for example that our prompt was faith and trust. I'm a huge Disney fan, so I'm sure you know where that came from. Um, this was just stuck in the kit though. Um, and I actually think that goes really well with the lyrics I had picked out before. Can you guys kind of see how this works that your subconscious actually is pulling to everything together when you let go? Um, we had music notes on here. I pulled in this faith and trust. I pull, pulled the lyrics from, from now on. So, um, just sometimes you just need to let it flow. And I could sit here and play with this text forever. Um, you can pick all kinds of fun fonts. Um, but one of the things that I'm going to do here, I think I like it justified to the right. Normally I don't, but I'm gonna actually let it be behind here because it's not that important. And that's another thing is it's not that important for everyone else to be able to read the writing on your art journal pages because it's about being in the moment and whatever you wrote is personal to you. And a lot of people don't want other people to read that. So this is a great trick of getting it behind, um, behind the paint, getting it uh, not as the forefront, like the most important thing. Uh, mm -hmm. And then what I would do on something like this is so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to make some of these larger so that they stand out. And it's okay that, uh, let's see, it's okay if the, I'm blanking what that's called. It's not called the kerning. The in between, the returns in between. <laughs> oh oh what, my gosh. Um, what, like the, the, the line height, you mean? Yeah. So it's going to mess it up a little bit, but don't worry about it because it adds just to the, um, I'm going to see if I can get one to do it. This this font's really cool, by the way. What is this? Oh, Sears Tower. 
is what mm -hmm. it's called. I don't, I don't think I've used them. So, okay, so that's just oh, back there. Everyone in the comments is saying the leading. Oh, I didn't realize Thank you meant leading. Thank you, the leading. Oh my gosh. Like, I know it has a name. <laughs> I just can't think of what it is. I'm gonna make this like a lot lighter back here, I think. I don't know. I Text is something that I actually do spend a little bit of time playing with because it's important to me. Um, I might have got this a little bit big. See, now I'm going to sit here and like fiddle with it and <laughs> we just don't have time for that. Yeah, I can't. I can't let it go, but I got to. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. So I, normally, I'm the same way. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, let it go here. Okay. Let so it be normally, in the words of the Beatles. <laughs> yes. I would fidget with this and keep building on it a little bit. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play with some of these layers that I had brought in before and see if any of them fit. Ooh, I actually really like that right there. Um, do you, so these are just those layers that I had turned on before. And you can kind of see that now it's like this little bonus, like fun stuff that may or may not work. And I'm going to try just doing like a color overlay. And I'm going to just start picking some colors maybe from in here. I think it needed like a really, actually, I like that. Okay. So I kind of felt like, I kind of felt like it really needed like just a little bit of pop of color. We'll see. Uh, and then you can get into like 3D stuff. Just make sure if you're going to, I don't want these on here. I don't like it. But um, make sure you shadow them correctly because you can come in here and see how unrealistic that looks. So just make mm -hmm. sure on shadows when you're trying to make a mixed media page that that's, it's really important. And yet I don't worry about it too much. I just kind of make sure it looks more realistic. See how much better that looks, but I'm still deleting them. <laughs> still, they're still coming off, but I wanted to make sure I showed you. Um, China just said so inspiring, Tanji. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks, China. I love thread and so i had this little piece up here that had a piece of thread so i'm gonna see and you'll also, and also see oh go ahead sorry go ahead Sanji. oh i'm just gonna say you'll also see even though i'm pasting that layer style as a starting point on some of these like i'm gonna go in here and um tweak it okay sorry you can go ahead and ask no no i just left the comment back um people were clarifying the pronunciation of letting and i just uh, i think i've been saying it wrong my whole life <laughs> oh i i thought it was leading too yeah so there you go. oh it looks like somebody found this okay i could play with this all day and i will i <laughs> just if someone has i don't know where we're at on time but if anyone has any questions or anything this might be the time because at this point it's just me playing here I, and so I, I think this has been a wonderful demo and everyone's been loving it if you are happy to stop um screen yeah. sharing or you or you can leave it yeah. open and i can talk, talk you through the uh the questions just so in fact no let, let's close it so everyone can see your yeah. lovely face and we can, oh, we can chat with well, the people thanks okay let me hit save on that and then i will stop screen sharing here okay i i, I love this though this is such a cool layout and it came together pretty quick it does, especially if I, oops, let me just, okay. If I hadn't been talking, it would have, you know how that is. I'm, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but, um, but once you learn some of those tricks, you can really speed up your process to do the mixed mm -hmm. media pages. So, oh, look at that. Look at all the positivity in the comments. Oh, um, thank you, everyone. So, guys, we, um, we've got a few questions that have come in. So, I hope you don't mind if I ask away, Tanji. Um, and then after that, we're, we're going to show off your wonderful products and what's now available in the new Design Cut scrapbooking section. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Elaine is asking uh, Will a replay be available? Yes, it will. So, I highly recommend awesome. watching this back because I've got notes here, but it always helps me to go back and, and like Tanji said, pause it and um, stop at any key points um we've got a question from mary saying can you use adobe elements um or coral painter for any of this kind of thing absolutely um elements depending on what version you have has come so far from where it was when i actually mm -hmm. learned it i don't know it's been eight years ago or whatever so you definitely yep. can i just know there's a few there's a few things that are a little bit more tricky but you absolutely can 
Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, Ellie asked, uh, will the items for this tutorial be listed somewhere? I believe that all in your design cut store. Is that right, Tanji? Mm -hmm. Everything I use today yeah. is over in my shop. At design Incredible. Cut. And um, you guys might have noticed there is a shiny green button directly below this video that says check out Tanji's store. So I highly re recommend clicking that and going and checking out all of the awesomeness because I adore Tanji's products. They just make me want to sit and play around for days and days. <laughs> and days. Yay! That's what I'm all about. <laughs> it's, for me, it's all about taking the, it's all about making art with a lowercase a and not art with a capital A and just enjoying the process is so much more important than what your page actually turns out to look like. Um, so oh, keep that in mind. Um, and also leave a comment, guys. I can see some of you are already like, oh, shiny button. Um, leave a quick comment if you are going to go check out Tanji's store because I promise there is so much good stuff in there. Um, and I'm going to get to that in just a second. But I'm keen to see how many of you are going to be playing around um, and grabbing Tanji's amazing resources because we cannot wait to see what you make with them. Um, so are you allowed to use copyrighted material like the lyrics, We says? Um, I'm guessing um, not for stuff that's for sale, but for personal projects. Exactly. Would, you, would so, you agree? Yeah. Yeah. If you're making an art journal page, which is very personal, then you can absolutely use lyrics. And I'm sure the artists would actually encourage you to do so because your song is inspiring your life. Um, I wouldn't sell anything that has lyrics on it. Maybe if there's one or two words from it, but yeah. So that's kind of where mm -hmm. the line gets drawn there in my, in my mind. Yeah. Um, Norella says, are the heart shapes that you used available in your DC shop? I really like those. I believe they are, right? The shapes, or, I actually... Oh, actually, maybe not the shapes. They might Yeah, I don't think the shapes... No, the shapes, I probably... They're probably commercial. Are they, those were just loaded. So to be honest, I don't... You can find shapes. Probably you can find shapes in the design cut store. They weren't like special or anything. Yeah. It's just... it's this, commercial use heart shapes yeah so. yeah if you want some um some real nice hand drawn hearts search for hearts uh at design cuts and yes. there should be a bunch of really gorgeous stuff there um how okay, did you question get the lyrics that somebody asked so can i can yeah, i sure. address it real quick someone said what yeah. about lyrics that were written before 1923 and anything before 1923 usually you can have do whatever you want with so, is that like pu public domain? In America, I should say. Mm -hmm. In the US, that's the date. So yeah, it would have been an SVG hearts. Okay, sorry, go back to the to your questions. I just saw that one scroll by, so I thought I- Oh no, sure. Um, what do you do with the text when you want it to stand out more? Just move it to the top layer or are there any other suggestions, Kirsten says? Yeah, I'd move it to the top layer. Um, also, obviously, that was formatted as lyrics. And so uh, text is so much easier to work with when it's formatted as paragraph. So mm -hmm. I would just, if I'm typing my thoughts and writing in a paragraph form, it would have been easier to deal with. But yeah, I would just make sure it's at the top. The other thing that you can do is use that pen tool trick I taught you um, to like draw yourself like a little cutout piece of paper that could be like cream or white and clip your text to it so it looks like it's written on like a piece of paper that you stuck down on your page as well so that it can be on top and still look like a layer and not be boring. Text is where you get into, oh, that was made in a computer. So there's definitely mm -hmm. some, that could be a whole nother, <laughs> a whole nother <laughs> webinar for another day. But those are some, those, those, those are some well, tips for now. Well, hopefully we can do a whole nother webinar. Yeah, another anytime. Day. Anytime. Love I love back. this. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tanji, would you mind resharing your screen and we can oh, show sure. off your incredible store? Yes. So, Let me pull this um, over. Yeah, well, Tanji brings this up, guys. Um, I was talking about this on yesterday's live classes, but we are so excited to be launching our new digital scrapbooking section. And the way we always work at Design Cuts is it's working with only the best people. So we didn't want to go and just accept anything in it, you know, from anyone. We went and teamed up with the most talented people in the digital scrapbooking world. They've now opened stores. It's this incredible new section and every single product in there is stunning. So there's no filler. There's no kind of average products. We got the best of the best from the best people. And I think it really shows. It's a real kind of beautiful section to, to browse around. So it's, Tanji, this, yeah, it's this, this is your store. I mean, um, th there's a few ways to get here. So if um, if you look, we've got this banner currently at the top of the site that is talking about the 
fantastic new digital scrapbooking section. But also, if you hover over graphics in the menu, you will see a, uh, a drop down and scrapbooking is right at the top. So that's going to be the easiest way to get to the scrapbooking section in future. And then uh, you can see Tanji has pages and pages of amazing products. So are you okay to talk us through some of these? Sure. Because uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you've got any favorites. Is that like picking a favorite child or something? Oh, no, I, 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 I do have favorites for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Well, you know, and it's just, I, I think it depends on what I was thinking about when I was designing it and stuff. So there's definitely, I definitely have favorites and it's okay. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so here's my shop. And like um, Tom said, I really, we just moved over like the best stuff um, that, that we had. So um, this kit right here, this came to be uh, is one of the ones I was using today, actually. So here's that flower and some of the, the things. So uh, I don't do a ton of kits anymore. Uh, so the ones that are in here, it's kind of fun that there's still some collections of, of kits in here. Uh, but I do have some big collections. Um, and then this one I love, and I'm, I'm working on some more of these. They're called oh, excavations, cool. and this is number one. And the reason I love these, let's see if there's a photo of it, is they come with a little miniature zine that has art journaling prompts. So you get the kit that has everything to create, and then you also get eight, well, this one I think has seven, uh, seven art journaling prompts. And then you can print this off, and I um, there's a video on to show you how to make it into a little book so that you can have that. So I love these, and there's more of these coming in the future. So. That's fun. Um, That's a really fun pack, actually. I love that kind of rough style. I can see people in the comments, Tara, just went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I'm glad to get good feedback on that because I loved I loved making that. So, and then you're going to see, yeah, I, I have just a ton of what I call splatter graffiti and overlays. Uh, as I come to this page, there's not very many on here. That's funny. But you will definitely see them all over my shop. And then I also uploaded, um, I actually, um, do a lot of classes as well and there's a couple of them um, here at design cuts so so here's some graffiti so basically in this pack you're getting four so there's i'm using my mouse there's one big huge cluster here one here one here and one here uh, so it's already all that crazy mess is already done for you if your brain doesn't work as chaotically as mine does <laughs> Uh, that's what I, that's what my brain looks like. If you guys want to get inside my brain, that is what it looks like. So, um, <laughs> um I, but, I, I, by the way, let us know if you have grabbed some already. Um, cause I can see several of you have, or if you plan on grabbing some today, cause we want to personally thank you. Um, so Norella grabbed the graffiti one yesterday and loves it. Thank you so much, Norella. Yes. And, thank uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Rhonda as well. So she, she bought yeah. that one yesterday. So thank you so much, Rhonda. Um, Lily says she's already added products to my cart. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Woo! We appreciate you, you Lily. Amazing. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, these, this kit, most of it was built uh, I, from, those are all hand painted by me, all those cactus. Uh, so there's the kit where you get them all like small and connected together. And then there's, you can actually just buy the, and they're all hand cut out. And it was very important to me that they were like that instead of uh, so like digitally extracted so that they actually look like you watercolored and cut them out. So mm -hmm. you can just buy those um, separate as well in Love a much it. larger size. So uh, Anne um, says so she plans to grab a couple. So thank you in advance for that. And uh, Jay as well says so she's uh, definitely going to be adding some to her cart for her next purchase. Thank we you. Appreciate you, Jay. Um, and <laughs> Russ says, I'm filling a cart now. That's, that, sounds, that sounds like multiple products. Let us know uh, which packs you're grabbing, Russ, but you're the best. And I, I think it's so important. I know you're the same, Tanji. You have to appreciate your community and you have to appreciate your customers because, yes. you know, they're, they're what, let us do what we are doing. Here. Yeah. So we can't do what I, we do without you. And hopefully exactly. um, you have fun creating with them. So it brings you joy as well. So that we are, it's just this really amazing cycle of art. And I think the world needs more, more of it. So mm -hmm. more creativity and encouraging people to express themselves in positive ways. And teaching and yeah, all, all that good yes. stuff. Well, and teaching, I, I'm actually a teacher first and an artist second. <laughs> so I, this is this combining 
both of these um, has just been life changing for me. So I, I can see a few uh, questions about scrapbooking bundle as well. Um, I would say never say never. So we're going to get this uh, this whole new incredible section off the ground. Um, but we are equally planning something very special for around the end of this month. Uh, so I, that's all I will say. Um, keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> but there's going to there's be um, some really interesting developments in, in our marketplace as well. And that will impact the, uh, the scrapbooking section. Sounds so, amazing. Um, yeah, I do. Seriously, it's going to be a it's going to be a fun year. Um, I love these packs. They're so cool. It is, I feel like you've just captured my style. Yay! Re honestly, really, really beautiful. Um, for everyone who's with us live as well, there are several reasons why we are so excited about Tanji's store here and about this new section, and why I think it's really going to kind of shake up the uh, the di digital scrapbooking world and benefit you guys massively. Um, as you can see, we only have a curated selection. So we only have the best creators and their best products in here. So everything you can browse around is really, really excellent. Um, but aside from that, this is the only marketplace in the world where you can actually save more the more you buy. So we encourage you to go and scoop up all kinds of products, resources, whatever appeals to you, and you can get some incredible savings, which you can't get elsewhere. And also you get a commercial license thrown in for the regular price. So tons of other places, you have to pay more for all kinds of complex licensing. We make it super straightforward. If you go and check out our license page, you can see what you can and can't do, but we have uh, a pretty liberal license, very easy to understand and all wrapped into that regular price. And on a final note, our customer care team are officially the nicest people in the world. So if you ever get stuck with any of this, just reach out like they're such a nice bunch they will hold your hand they even send you videos on how to get through stuff and and work with it and we just want to uh to really look after you as being part of our community so tanji i've got a question yes. what what is your favorite pack i'm really intrigued out of everything that's in here yeah um i i have I honestly, I oh, I I honestly think this is probably one of my favorite right here because just the place I was in when I created it, I just really was feeling stifled and unmotivated, and I just set out to make the brightest, happiest, crazy, <laughs> crazy pack ever. So I I do love that one, and I do love the cactus one as well. Um, I created that not too long after I left Arizona. I lived in Arizona almost my entire life. Uh, and so that has, and I think, I think I showed you guys that one. I think it was back here. Uh, mm -hmm. so that has, that has a big piece of my heart as well. So that's this one here. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's so, very cool. Yeah. So those two, I think, and they're a little bit quirky and crazy. Yeah. Um, I never realized a cactus could be cute. Uh, yeah, well, cactuses are fabulous, but anyway, yeah. So um, anyway, yeah. So I think those two, and I, you know, there's other ones that I really love for different reasons as well. Like I said, I love the graffiti so much, but um, but those um, two, I think, have a special place in my heart. Can I um? Can I just say I, I just saw Russ um said he's got about fifty DC bundles, which is crazy um and sue has about 40 and so we we do like to um sporadically just do nice stuff for our community do both of you mind emailing our customer care team um and if any of the design cuts team who are watching this right now can kind of let them know this is happening just email them and we want to do something uh super nice for you guys just as like a sporadic nice gesture so fun cool uh, Vivi, thanks so much, Tanji and Tom. Um, guys, you've been the absolute best. And Tanji, you've been incredible. Thank you for sharing so much value. Well, thank like, you for so openly. You've, you've been fantastic, honestly. That was such a uh, educational and fun session. I really enjoyed it. Anytime. So thanks, everyone, for being here. I feel we, loved we love and so happy today. <laughs> all, all of the hearts going out for Tanji today. <laughs> honestly, that, that, that was fantastic. And um, all of the hundreds of people that have shown up today. We appreciate you so, so much. Thank you for being here. We hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned a lot. And I highly encourage you to click that green button below this video and go and check out Tanji's store because it's absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, thank Vivi, you. I'll see you around Richmond. <laughs> <laughs> cool, thank you. You guys thank are the Thank you, everyone. Best. Thanks, Tom. And look at it.
look out for more scrapbooking fun very soon. We've got such incredible stuff planned uh, and we definitely have Tanji back in the near future. All right. Have a great day, guys. All right. Thanks bye, again, everybody. Tanji. Bye. Take care.